Now that the Canadian border is open to U.S. traffic, it's crucial that people follow the list of requirements to successfully cross into Canada. New Centre Maine's Hania Ashibi joins us live from along the border in Van Buren, where she's met some travelers who are now scrambling to meet the crossing requirements. Hannah, sounds like they have some interesting stories. Hey Chris, it's an interesting story indeed. The two people I met here were missing the same thing, a PCR COVID test, the results from them. They actually had a rapid test and when they went to the border, they, they got turned around because that's not accepted. So right now, one family staying here at a Van Buren hotel waiting for those test results and the other man got his PCR results back yesterday night, rushed to the border and we followed. Monday night, the correct COVID-19 results in hand. Don Snyder from New Hampshire is finally attempting to cross the border into Canada. Well, the 72 hour test was tough because the labs that you send it out to will take anywhere from two to four days to get the stuff back to you. Don got the results in three days and has all the other required documents. Now here, crossing his fingers, the border agent will let him in and he made it. His travel plans, Atlantic salmon fishing. There's no salmon fishing in, uh, in the States that you can speak of. Uh, so, I mean, Maine doesn't have any more salmon fishing and New Hampshire surely doesn't for Atlantic salmon. So you really got to go up uh, into Canada. Here at the Aristoc Hospitality Inn in Van Buren, I met Ray. He's waiting on PCR COVID-19 results. My intention was to get a rapid test when we got here because coming from Kentucky it took us five days to get to this point so obviously the 72 hours would have been up had we done it at home. So now he waits. If you make it to the other side the program manager for the Atlantic Canada Agreement on Tourism says it's peak tourism season and Canadians are ready to greet you. We have lots of festivals taking place throughout the month of September so it's harvest season here so they can take place in um, take part in harvest festivals, music festivals, cultural festivals. So there's lots to see and do. We do expect late August and all through September into October to be very busy. Tourism is what's driving Ray and his wife to Canada. We're trying to drive around the uh, Quebec Peninsula. We've never been to Quebec before. Been to Canada, but not Quebec. And uh, just heard that was a, a, an amazing drive. And Dawn is happy, already fishing. I hadn't caught a salmon yet, but uh, certainly it was worth coming up here, I gotta tell you. I have compiled the requirements you need to cross the border, and you can find those on our website and mobile app. And looking down the road, the border here in the United States is expected to reopen to Canadians in 11 days. Live in Van Buren, Hannah Yashivi, New Centre, Maine.